Um, our next presenter is Emmanuel Leslie from the Talents in Africa group in Africa. Uh, Talents in Africa is a marketplace platform that uses proprietary tests, test tools, sorry, to help African youth upskill their skills and match them to job opportunities. They help growing companies in Africa to build exceptional talent. Talents in Africa screens young African candidates and allows them to acquire skills, badges that are essential to the future workplace. And so here today to discuss exactly what they do and how they do it is Emmanuel. Let us see if he's on the line. Okay, wonderful. I see the presentation coming up in the background. Let's see if we can also get Emmanuel on video. There he is. Good morning, Emmanuel. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. How are you? Having me here. I'm doing Wonderful. Myself. Doing very well. Thank you very much. Um, if you are ready for the presentation, then I will simply hand over to you. As you know, you've got three minutes for your pitch, and then we'll follow it up with a few questions from our judges. Sure. Thank you so much for having okay. me. Uh, Thank my you. name is Imanuel Iman Leslie Adai, and I'm a co founder of Talent in Africa. So we're on a mission in building a skilled African youth as change making and connecting skills talent to employers. My co-founders, Bridget Boache is the co-founder and is in charge of data science and also artificial intelligence. And our CTO, um, Eugene, has a five years experience with coding and also he was head of um, software engineer for a top tech company in Ghana. And with Daniel, he's the head of sales and marketing in our company with our business. So, I mean, when we look at the continent that we are, Every year, about 10 million young people graduate from university and they do not find jobs. So they have to travel miles and also to irregular routes to Europe to look for greener pastures. And even 65% of the founders who are pitching today will tell you that finding the right talent is the major concern for their business. And of course, when there's an unemployment on the continent, what do you see? Social unrest, violence, youth discontent, and brain drain is a major concern of unemployment on the continent. So what we're trying to do is that we're using property tools to help African youth identify their skills and match them to jobs. And the innovation is that we are using artificial intelligence to be able to assess their skills so we can be able to find the right um, job and the right opportunity for them in the market. So what we do is very simple. We source from the market, which is that we, are, we give equal opportunity for, for young people to able to get into a platform. We have our skills assessment where we're able to assess their skills to get a skills badge. And then from there, we're able to match them to recruiters who are looking for um, that kind of, of skills. So this is a, a simple interface of um, how our, our product looks like. We're able to assess your skills and to be able to match you to, to the right um, recruiter. So our benefits for companies, I mean, we reduce risk of buy, hiring a bad candidate. We also save time because we're able to assess them and give you the only the, the, the right candidate for you to interview. And we save, I mean, we save you money um, from all those high cost of I mean, equity in the market. And of course, finally, we reduce illegal migration on the continent. And our culture is very great. I mean, look at the 10 million young people graduating from, from schools everywhere on the continent. And look at, I mean, how many people are looking for jobs. We are looking at serving over 259 billion market size um, for our business. So our growth options, we started in 2017, we were able to pilot in seven other African countries, and currently we have over 10,000 job seekers profiles, we have over 220 job recruiters and profile, and we also went live actively in 2018 in March. So our revenue model, so we have a series of revenue models. We charge the full fees of job seekers by taking the assessment test, and we also charge employers for finding the right talent in our platform. And we also do recruitment services where we get 10% of the annual salary of the job seeker. Our financial projections, we are looking at making 200,000 USD by 2023. We know that we are not the only one trying to solve this issue on the market. We have a major com um, competitor with the job man. So the job man works more like a yellow pages on a continent where they're able to get to make a job without any assessment to, to help the young people to assess their skills and find the right job and they give low quality and I mean on the markets. Whereby on the other hand, we have Andela. Andela, of course, of course, of course, of Andela. Andela is only focusing on only tech candidates. Whereby for us as talent in Africa, we focus on both, both tech 
candidate or not in on tech candidate, which makes us as, as number one on the continent. We give you high quality and we're also affordable in the market. So currently we are asking for two hundred thousand um, dollars to help us with sales, marketing, advice, and also human resources. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me this morning. Thank you very much, Emmanuel, for that very short and concise pitch. Let's see if we can get our judges on the call so we can also ask you a few questions about that. Uh, by the way, I've seen that your um, uh, video has frozen, but that's not okay. We can see you just, we can hear you just fine. Uh, and we also see you, of course, at the slide at the bottom. So I'd also like to welcome Jonathan Moore uh, to the call. I believe, Jonathan, you're calling in from South Korea. Is that correct? That's right. Yeah, sorry, I wasn't here in the last one. I haven't had connection problems. That's okay. We are now up and running. So, Jonathan, since you've managed to come in, um, could I ask you to ask the first question to Emmanuel? Great. So, so um, good pitch. I, I enjoyed uh, listening to that. Um, I think it's a cool idea. One question or issue I have was with the beginning of the how you uh, told the story. Um, I'm not sure if I would agree that hiring is the number one concern for 75% of founders. Uh, you, that could be true. I just, uh, it's hard to believe. I, I feel like many startups might focus more on, on uh, raising money uh, more than hiring. So I, I thought it might be better if you, you know, would arrange the story to where it focuses more on the, on the exact problem. Um, so yeah, do you have anything to add about that? Yeah. Okay. So I think, I mean, I, I love the, that idea. Of course, when you ask founders, I mean, after they raise money, the next thing is to how to find talent. So, I mean, even when they get the money, the next thing is to hire. And I think that's the major also concern for them. And many of them also fail because they're able to find the right talent on the front. So, I mean, there's also a problem. And also, there's another problem on the other side where young people are not able to find jobs um, after they graduate before they land the skills. Okay. I have one follow up question, if that's okay. Um, uh, I also, I, I'm not sure if I missed it or not, but is this for remote working or is this um, offline? So both, both. I mean, if you're able to um, hire and find um, candidates for recruiters who are even based in the U.S. and even as a, as a planner, so it's both, both remotely and also on site. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, Marita, could we continue with you, please? Yeah, also from my side, thank you so much, Emmanuel. Really impressive uh, presentation. I have a question in regards of your revenue model. You have Google AdSense and subscription. May I ask today the percentage? Is it uh, the subscription uh, mode more or is it uh, Google AdSense which makes the revenue in the company? So currently our, our highest um, percentage is the recruitment services, which is the 10% of the annual revenue and then to the subscription before the Google AdSense. I uh, couldn't understand. Sorry, the, 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 the line was, I think we broke okay. the internet, everyone. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, so I said, I mean, our, our major revenue is from the recruitment services that we do to the 10% and other the subscriptions and before the, the uh, Google AdSense. Ah, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, that second answer was much clearer to hear. Thank you very much for repeating, <laughs> the, for repeating the answer. Okay, um, Axel, can we move on to you? So, Emmanuel, if I give you a $7.5 million for your company, would you sell it to me? No. Um, so, um, we, are not looking at, <laughs> we are not looking at selling the product. I mean, we are looking at partnering with the right people and right institutions, right investors to be able to solve the unemployment issue on our continent. So, I'm unable to sell, but I would love to work with you to cool. solve the problem. Cool, <laughs> Good answer. I, I was going to say that's probably the best answer you could have given. Wonderful. Okay. Um, <laughs> Thomas, so can much. we move on to you? Yeah, so, Emmanuel, thank you for the presentation. I, I would want to ask in terms of financing rounds so far. You did already some financing rounds, I think, and uh, I wanted to ask what, what were your investors? Uh, so far, and uh, will those investors also participate to this round? Yeah, I mean, we had our pre, uh, pre and seed investment for from Good Soil VC, and currently we are doing our, our, our seed round, and they are looking at I mean, also coming on board um, for the seed round. So they are very positive. 
Okay. Okay. Um, do we have uh, another question? Maybe I can sort of rephrase Axel's question. So, Emmanuel, if if Axel gave you seven point five to invest in the company, what would you do with it? Okay. So, I mean, it's very easy. So, currently, what you are trying to do is to scale the model. So, scale the model means that we have in seven African countries, and we are trying to make sure any for speaker the continent, you all share the same issues, the same problems. So it's very, a problem that we face in Ghana is the same problem we face in Nigeria and other countries. So that, now that we're able to solve what is happening in Ghana, we can able to replicate the same solution to help other countries to be able to, also to solve the same kind of problem. So one is to scale the, the business and of course mm -hmm. the overhead cost and also the marketing um, cost as well. Okay, I just see that we have a um, question also coming in from the audience to you, Emmanuel. Um, is there an age limit here or is your platform for everybody? It's for everybody. Um, so we don't have age limits. I mean, so far as you are ready to work, which is from like 18 years or 15 years, from whatever the which country you belong to, you can use the platform. Okay, thank you very much. I think the question was probably due to the fact you seem to be focusing on the younger talents, uh, also suggested in the name. Uh, but um, the older talents that might still be around could also use it, if I've understood correctly. Yes, exactly. I mean, we, okay. uh, we've always, the idea was to help the entry level talent. But after we launched, we realized that even the, the older talents also also have issues in terms of I mean, looking at opportunities on the market. So we're able to also help them to find, to find the right um, opportunities. Okay, great. Are there any other questions from our judges? I Marita. have a question. Uh, Emmanuel, in regards of your team, are you equal co-founders or is there a majority on, on your side or someone else in, in, in the seed level? So we are equal co-founders, equal, equal yes. Yeah. Okay. And both co-founders are equal, uh, have equal shares, is that right? Yes, equal shares, yes. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions from our judges? Okay. Once again, we will do go to our voting then. So um, scale from one to four, one being you'll need to take this back to the drawing board and four being startup gold. Judges, could I please see your vote to the camera? A four from Marita, three from Jonathan. I believe that's a three from Thomas and a th is that a three-ish from Axel? <laughs> Okay, so we have three threes and a four. Very well done, Emmanuel. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, thank, you, thank you for thank your you for presentation. Thank you. thank you. And thank you also very much to our judges. Um, if I can keep Jonathan on for just one second. He just took off. Oh. Can I get Jonathan back on?